once we have it on the ground, we can lay it all out. So the only four nuts we're gonna be removing are gonna be our center top ones. Just take those, lay everything out to the side, step included. I'm gonna take our back bracket off, we'll lay it in the back. And our eight foot legs, we're gonna set off to the side for use later. And then we're just gonna to go to the other side and do the same thing. We're gonna remove both of these bolts. Setting the step, and bolts off to the side. Wanna make sure on both brackets, we leave the bottom two nuts in. Those can stay in. From here, I'll lay out my 62 inch stainless steel port portable bolt bar. And set my leg off to the side as well. So first thing we're gonna do is put our back bracket in. It's gonna go sit inside our bottom brackets. And then from there, we're gonna take our two bolts and insert them from inside in. We're gonna put insert them in so they lock into this square notch on our back bracket. When we put our nuts on, we want to make sure they're just hand tight. And we'll tighten them down at the end. So we're going to go to the opposite side and do the same thing. Again, we want inside, nuts going to feed in from the inside out. Once we get the back bracket in place, we can go and install our two by three eight foot uprights. For these, you're still gonna need two additional bolts and two additional nuts. When we install, we wanna make sure the narrower three holes going in on the bottom. One thing we want to note is that all the all the nuts are loosened prior, just makes it easier for install. So again, just gonna come in, make sure the nut seats all the way through, so the bolt seats all the way through. And tighten. and we'll move on to the next leg. With our uprights, again, we're gonna come from outside in, ensuring our holes line up. Once we get this far, now we want to lay down the entire rig so we can put the pull-up bar on. So 
Same thing we did on the back bracket. Our pull up bar is gonna fit on the inside and our bolts are gonna go from inside out. That way they lock in on that square hole. And do the same thing on the other side. So once we have everything assembled, we can start tightening it up utilizing our hex tool that is built onto our step. The top hole, we have a three quarter inch hex tool. The user does not need any other tools other than this step. So we'll just start the pull-up bar and tighten up the pull-up bar first. From here, we can stamp the pull-up bar, be able to tighten down the rest of it. No order necessary on tightening this down. I wanted to tighten the pull-up bar first, just because I don't have a step ladder. Now, once we get it stand, stood up, we can go down and tighten the rest of the rig down. We want to make sure everything's tight and snug. There is no torque specs on this. Tighten it down or just snugged up. Once we have everything tightened down, we can now attach our steps. We're gonna attach our steps from the inside out. That way they can be utilized by the user. We also added in butterfly nuts to ensure that we can tighten these down properly.
we'll do the same thing to the other side. One thing to note, we can adjust how high we want our step, dependent on the size of the users. This one must secure a little bit higher for our shorter users. Now that we have this completely installed, you have an additional option dependent on what your ground type is and what you have accessible. You can either place sandbags on the corners to ensure this is not gonna rock or tip over when the user's on it, or we've also added in on each corner an anchor point. You can drive a stake through, or if it's on concrete, you can secure it with a half inch concrete anchor.